I don't know what you want. If you're looking for a ransom, I don't have money. But what I do have are a very particular set of skills. Skills that I've acquired over a very long career. Skills that make me a nightmare for people like you. These are my 1v1 skills. Stop calling me. I'm filming a Unisport video. I'm just kidding, guys. Nobody calling right now. Now, these are the five rules, the five golden rules of 1v1. The very first one being take an excellent first touch. Sometimes you guys don't even realize that the rules of 1v1 are set. They are set. You can change them, manipulate all these rules, but you have to follow these things here. Otherwise, you won't have success. Taking a good first touch means settling the ball either in and keeping it close to you, that way you have control of it, or it means taking a good first touch forward at the defender using all the momentum that you have from the pass in order to set the defender on his back foot and they're not ready for what you're going to throw at them. So take a good first touch, train this up against a wall, train this if you have a friend that's passing into you. This is your foundation. Make sure it's good so in the game you're ready to ball. Golden rule number two my friends, do not stop, build up speed. Once you have taken a good first touch, you want to use all of the speed and all the momentum to throw that at the defender. You can look at every single top winger in the game today, and even if they're not fast, when they go at players 1v1, they go with speed and pace. If you don't have these two parts down in your checklist, you are diminishing your chances of success. So build up speed. It doesn't mean that you have to have all the moves and all of these things ready, but you have to build up speed. Take a good first touch, build up speed. Rule number three. Do not hesitate. Hesitation will kill you in 1v1. If you decided that you were going to do a triple axle rod, 360, 1000 Mars step over, you better do that, okay? That's what you decided when you were gonna do the move, do the move. The second that you start to do your triple axle rod, Mars, 3000, and you don't, you're in trouble. You're gonna trip, you're gonna fall, everybody's gonna see that you're hesitating. That is not how to be a confident 1v1 player. It doesn't matter what your move is, it doesn't matter what everybody's saying, when you decide to do something, you do it, be bold. The whole point of this, number three, is to be bold. You don't have to do the triple axle rod Mars 3000. <laughs> I'll, we'll have a tutorial on that later, so don't, don't worry about that. But what we're saying is be bold. Take your move, go at them, be bold. Rule number four, my friends, faint before it's too late. You do not want to throw this move when you are up on the defender. You want to make sure that you have enough space and enough time to do this move. Whatever it is, even if it's just a simple step over, even if you were trying to do the elastico, all these things you do not want to get too close. You don't want to be too far away, but you definitely don't want to be too close, right? A defender's whole goal is to cut down your space. So by building up speed, what you're hoping to do is to destroy them right at the key critical moment before they can get too close to you to make you make a decision. You wanna force them to back up. You wanna force them to dive in. You wanna force them to do something, all right? You can't do that if you're slow. You can't do that if you have a bad touch. You can't do that if you hesitate. And you definitely can't do it if you're already smack up against a defender. So remember, faint before it's too late. Rule number five, the most important of them all, do not stop after failure. Once you mess up on one 1v1, you go right back and you go again. The only thing you need to do is change your tactic. If you went up against a guy and you did two step overs, boom, it didn't work, all right, no big deal. Next time you charge at him, you just do a simple feint and try and get past him. That doesn't work, boom, 360, axle rod, Mars 3000, you throw that, Throw that shit right on them, my friends. You have to change your tactics. It's okay if you fail. You're gonna fail a whole lot, 1v1. All of your superstars that every time you think about them, you think about their great things, but you don't see are the failures and all the times that they have messed up. So remember these rules, my friends, because if you do them correctly, you will have built up a very particular set of skills. Skills that will make you a nightmare for any sort of defender anywhere across the world. Crossbar. Nailed it. I told you I had a very particular set of skills. And now you know. So click, like, subscribe, or I will find you. Go right down below in the description box and buy something now. Will John will find you.